currently work at Nyagak 3 stands at 94% as anxiety among people of West Nile to have reliable electricity continues. And I must say that I'm impressed that despite the fact that we as government are not fulfilling our part of uh, the grant that we are supposed to give, the developer has continued to find ways of borrowing money and uh, making sure that work does not stall. So, and I want to applaud them for that. And also pledge that I will continue interacting with the Minister of Finance to make sure that the, the promise that the President made when he visited West Nile recently to give the remaining money, which is about 28 billion uh, shillings, Yesterday I was able to brief the president about the project and I told him I was coming to see. The government will definitely do their part to give the money. It's unfortunate that we've been slow on this. To that effect, the target for completion of Nyagaki 3 power plant is expected to be September 2023 if the government releases funds to the contractor timely. And I know that the people of West Nile have been anxious in seeing that the plant uh, begins to be uh, operational so they always want me to declare the exact date which is not so 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 simple and that's why i always come to see the progress so we are targeting september 2023 that is if if that the developer receives the money from government so they need rescue from government but if they don't receive the money immediately, then we will go up to December. Kumar Reddy, the resident engineer, explains the level in which the hydropower plant is. Uh, we are doing now commissioning works, like electromechanical works and uh, hydromechanical works. We are fixing the turbines all in a draft tube, all in place, where alignment is in progress. And we received all the electrical related panels and all go to the site. But now we are at the almost 94% of the works have been completed. So due to funds delay from the government, as Minister says, due to that some we are facing some funding problem from the developer side. If funds releases now, so we can able to cap up that up to September, we can complete the project for the commissioning. Ruth Nankabiru, however, urged the people of West Nile to continue being patient as the government is putting more efforts to see the power plant done. Probably this year, 2023, we'll see Nyagak being commissioned. We are trying our best to make sure that we stabilize the, the, the power in West Nile. According to Isaac Otimgui, Member of Parliament for Padir County, missing many deadlines for full connection of West Nile to the national grid is making citizens of the sub-region feel disappointed. We had a deadline uh, as early as uh, last year, around September, that one got missed. It was extended to December, that one got missed. It was extended to March, that one has been missed. The next actually was supposed to be by the 30th of June which 100% now we know that that deadline has been missed. So we are a bit dis discomforted with whatever is happening. The citizens of West Nile have now waited for a very long time. Starting in 2019, Nyagak Hydropower Plant will generate 6.6 .6 megawatts to add on the 3.5 megawatts from Nyagak 1. Nyagak 3 Hydropower Plant Project, a Government of Uganda project, is a public-private partnership worth 19.39 million U.S. dollars. Joseph Odamam, UBC News, in Zombo.